Hello, I mean. Hi there. This is Robin's very first video. This is so exciting. So listen, we are sitting here in this beautiful model home called the Tidewater. I can't wait to show it to you all. But I know Robin's got a little bit of information. Yep. This is the Tidewater, and you said it has a bonus to it. It has an uh, option for a bonus room, yeah. Sweet. Uh, we're at Wincy, Co Wincy Groves, I'm sorry, That's in Winter Garden. It is in the Hamlin area. And it is, this particular development is sold out. It is with Dreamfinder Builders, Dreamfinder Homes. And we- I found that that day. Yes. I was like, Robin, there's a whole neighborhood coming. <laughs> and she was like, really? So we went investigating yeah. and sure enough, it's literally right down the street from Disney. Yeah. What, 10 minutes? If that, yeah. Yeah, if, if that. It's like so nice 10 to 10 minutes to Magic Kingdom, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. it's really close. Very close by. Um, they are pre-selling here for um, a community right down the street, right down on the same street. And it is going to be called Lakeside at Hamlin. So Lakeside at Hamlin is building this exact model over there? Yes, they're building the same models. They're gonna have 11 models available. And they are expecting also to release four bungalow models. I which can't wait to see the bungalows. They are not, like you would think a bungalow would be small. Yeah. But they're not. They're going to start at around 1,700 square feet, I believe, and go up, what did she say, up over over, over 23 or 2,400 square feet. We'll have they, to get the exact yeah, we'll square get the, footage. They don't have the exact plans yet for those. Um, they're hoping to have those by the weekend or by Monday with some um, floor plans and pricing and all of that yeah. available. The first thing I thought of when she said bungalow was the poly bungalows. I'm right. like, that's going to be so cool, no. but they're not going to be like that. Think, um, think townhouse. Yeah. It's like but a single family. Yeah. So they're not, um, they're a little narrower than a, you know, a one story. Like single family. Yeah. Home. Single family home. Um, and a, many of them will be rear entry. So your garage would be behind, but there, I believe she said there will also be some that will be front garages that's gonna be so cool. so but until we have the plans we don't know for sure yeah they don't have any information about them right other than she did say that they're gonna have like an apartment over the garage an option an not, option not an apartment like a bonus space pre-wired correct for correct. so if, you yeah. could you know if you had to you could potentially use it you know for an adult child or something like that, that company or a, a mom you know, an in-law suite. That would be Somewhere great. that you want to have someone that can live with you permanently, but still have some privacy. That would be such yeah. a great option. Yeah, be and really nice. Again, there's no pricing on that. No pricing on them. But that's so yet. cool. Yeah, but they hope to have that by the weekend or Monday. Okay. So from there. That's exciting. We will go, but, and yeah. they are, they are in the pre-selling phase. Um, right now, they're not able to release more than a few lots at a time, typically, but DreamFinders um, will take, will sell the lots. They don't necessarily um, have a wait list where they will not sell to you. Oh, good. Um, that's great. To, to the best of my knowledge, that's what she had said. Um, okay. But they still, you know, it could be a few months before you could see anything start because they are, you know, still working on the infrastructure of the land mm -hmm. and... Um, the site isn't, you know, quite ready, but they will eventually have models built there to view. But right now they're using the two models here. So you have something to look at and then you get, you know, the, the packet of information with the price list and the floor plans and the elevation options and things like that. All right. So. Well, are y'all ready to look at this beautiful home? Yeah. This is the Tidewater with a bonus. Yeah. And it's starting in the... Uh, this, well, they're pricing for... The base price for not this model, but yeah. for other models, um, as of today, it's a it's starting in the mid four four fifty like four fifty ish four hundred fifty okay. thousand um, for this particular area. All right, and then they'll go from there to pay, based on elevation and options. You get to go to the design center upgrades. and pick out all of your upgrades, yeah. whatever countertops, you know, floors, everything, kitchen, you know, sinks and everything you get to pick 
pink colors. You you name it, you pick it. This house is beautiful. It's amazing. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are y'all ready to take a tour? And doesn't Robin look great as a realtor? Look at her. <laughs> All right, let's go show you all this place. See you in a few. Welcome home, everybody. Oh my God. This is so pretty. <gasps> this house is beautiful, Robin. It's amazing. It is. Look how this wall is. I love the what wall. What is this? I think it's tile. This it's, is so yeah, pretty. It's stone. Stone and tile. I, it feels like this. I guess it's just stone, but it's amazing. It is so pretty. Of course, not standard. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the upgrades. Nice wide entry. Beautiful wide plank floors. Yes. Love, love, love the love. finish, the distressed finish on them. Through here we have uh, two bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bath right down this way. This is the Tidewater with a bonus room model and it is uh, the base model is four bedrooms, three and a half bath, two car garage and just under 3,200 square feet. So it's a very large home. Whoever decorates these places, I mean, Amazing, please right? come to my house. Right? I need a stager. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you come from this bed bedroom into a, a full bath. Okay. The wash, uh, water closet with the shower and tub together door closes and then you can be using your double sinks. I love the height of the cabinets. Yes, yeah, it's the, um, this is an option. It's the counter height, I believe they call it. It's, you know, a little higher than normal. I love that. Yep, yeah, definitely worth, worth the upgrade. That's I a think. nice upgrade. Nice linen closet, pretty good size, fairly deep. Plenty of stuff can fit in there. And goes right into another bedroom right here. Oh my goodness, this would be perfect for kids. Yep. Or company. Even. Or company. Yeah. Yep. yep. Be great. And I love how it's like right in the front of the house, so there is some privacy Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Away from everything yep. else. These bedrooms look like they're about the same size too. Like this yep. one and the they look um, like this let me one see. and this one look very similar. Yep, there's about a foot difference. One is 13 by 11, the other's 14 by 11. So okay. basically the same size for sure. Here we have a hall closet. So once you come in that front door, somewhere to throw coats or shoes or bags oh, yeah. or, you know, any Here, let me put you my, want to hide. Let me put my shoes in there right now. <laughs> okay. So we continue down the entry. We have a, um, it's a bonus room. It, um, it can nice. be an optional bedroom. I believe the bar area over there that's added would, I'm assuming this would be the closet if you opted for it to be a bedroom. Oh, I like Because it would this have though. to have a, a closet. Mm. To be Why a don't you just have a seat, Robin? <laughs> Relax. Put your feet up. Put my feet up. Let me pour you a glass of Chill wine. Out. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so nice. Hey, <laughs> this is so nice. I love so what they nice. did with this room. And I love that it has double doors yes. on it. Yep. Double Very doors. Elsa like. Very How about you do it? All right. Let's do it. Let's do this. We're going to close this off. Wait a minute. You've got to go. I'm going to go on the other side. And say the cold. Wait a minute. Come back in. Open it up. And say the cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> and close them. <laughs> Ta da! Okay, I don't know if they're ready for the rest of this house, though. I'm not sure either. It's amazing. It's so cute. Beautiful, wide open, bright. Look at this place, you all. Amazing. And so this house is how many square feet? Just under 3,200, so it is a bigger home. Yeah, it's very sure. spacious. But it's wonderful. Look at the upgrades, y'all. This is a gourmet kitchen. Yes. So this is, you know, mostly everything in here is gonna be an upgrade. Um, 
believe the cut, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but the 42 inch cabinets might be standard, but I'd have to double check on that. It could be that the 42 inch are I, um, an upgrade. And here's the pantry back here. Yep. So yeah, you could take your nice trip over to the design studio you you can yep. pick out your own cabinets your own countertops your own backsplash your areas, floors your yes. appliances all your, of that your faucets your sinks your lighting speaking everything. of sinks the sink is amazing this is a great sink beautiful like, look how big this is stainless with this. farmhouse sink very amazing. nice that goes like that nice oh yeah that's apron nice. sink yep this comes right on out you can move it around i love that very, very nice. I just love how they put these walls in here, too. Yeah. And all these windows with all this natural light coming in from your pool area. Yeah. Over here, you have um, your wall oven. Yeah. 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 Electric and your stainless fan. All so nice. vented to the outside. So. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. The lighting in here is beautiful. They continued the wall into the living room from the entry. Keep it all. And then we have these amazing hidden sliding glass doors. They slide and then they collapse and slide again. And slide so it's a triple again. slider. Yep. And then they disappear into the wall. Oh, that's so great. It is what? an upgrade also. But what? amazing. It's a great option to have. That is so cool. And uh, indoor, outdoor living at its best. Oh, my gosh. And look at this pool. I love it. Can we just move in? It's a beautiful home. Yeah. Beautiful backyard. I love this. Without the pool, obviously, you know, you'd have grass, you'd have the, the one eye. Yeah. Um, so you'd have a smaller area, but then you'd have grass. Yeah, without a pool. Similar to the what we'll see in the next house. All right, can I go see the master? Let's go. All right. I'm excited. This is so nice. It's amazing. Are they going to make us leave? No. They said we have all the time. We can well, stay? Eventually we have to leave. Yeah, I don't think they'll let us sleep here. <laughs> That's locked. Let's go into the owner suite. Beautiful. Love oh, the windows. Wow. Super, super tall and wide. So I bright love in how here. they put the curtains all the way to the ceiling. Yep, all the way. Very dramatic. They have the, the tray windows. ceiling with the recessed lighting. This is so pretty. It's like a king size bed and still plenty of room. You know, there's larger furniture in here. Most people, you know, wouldn't have a nightstand quite that big. That's huge. <laughs> so plenty of room for yep. a king size and bed. And two chairs even. Yeah, and there's still plenty of room to walk by. Two people could easily walk through here. Yeah. Um, so What's then, the square footage of this master? The owner's suite is 17 by 15. Just okay. the bedroom portion. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, very, very nice. And Big. The, even the doors are like super tall. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They are, what are they? Eight or nine feet, I think. Something like that. They're, but they're an option for that. Beautiful master suite. Oh, wow. The master bath. You walk through and you have dual. Oh, the lights aren't on in there. So you have his closet. Of course, I'm gonna say his because it's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> his closet. Well, they also have men's shirts hanging in yes, here. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, we'll go this way first, and then we'll check out hers. Okay. We have a soap or tub, which nice. is an option, of course. Um, upgrade, upgrade, Jill. upgrade, upgrade. Um, we have two vanities rather than a double sink. We have dual vanities, so we have one on each side. A little bit wider over here, so the taller. The taller cabinets yes. over here as well. Yep, much taller. The gray. This is so nice. These sports countertops. They're beautiful. Don't mind the door that just hasn't been hung, rehung. The uh, 
they call it a water closet here. This is the, the toilet. toilet room. Yeah. <laughs> the throne. The throne. We can keep this going. <laughs> but we call it a water closet. The water closet. I never heard it called that. And oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful shower. Yeah, I do like the that pebbled, shower. Pebbled rock floor. Um, it's got the Ooh. rain. The rain. There's the this shower head and a regular. Yeah. The rain. What kind of shower? Waterfall, I think it's called, right? Coconut oil coffee scrub shower gel. Hmm. Does that come with the house? So this is a very large shower. It is. <laughs> Plenty of room for the whole family. The whole fam. <laughs> yep. <sighs> then we have her closet on this side here. Oh. A little bit bigger. Yeah, and they have the little black dress nice hanging dress in here. Right there. And we have the laundry room right off of the master closet. Which Sweet. I think is an amazing option. Yeah. You get you can get here from the main part of the house as well. Mm -hmm. So not just if you come in the main hall and yeah. you take that right, this will bring you right through so it connects to the main part of the house. So if you had company and you wanted to allow them to use your washer and dryer. They don't have to come in your they bedroom. They don't have to come through your bedroom. They can just come right through that hallway door. And nice. there's a door here to shut off your master i like so. it nice and enough room for these big mac daddy washer and dryers beautiful front loaders nice cabinetry nice sink countertop <laughs> and then that brings us right back into this hallway the main the area entry. so very nice yeah. so you want to okay. forgot about that part of the house <laughs> <laughs> this is so big i forgot about a part of the house <laughs> It's huge. Huge. We head off of the living area, down this way to the garage. There's an optional um, fifth bedroom and a, a three-quarter bath. So how many bedrooms in total could this potentially be? Five, I believe. Actually, Because isn't there one six. upstairs? Potentially, yeah. there could be six a total of six bedrooms. Yeah, because that wine cellar room. Yeah, if you choose not to use that front room as like a study or an office or whatever you know works for you a playroom yeah whatever it could be choose, a bedroom it could potentially be a bedroom yeah so six bedrooms potential for six bedrooms sweet yep yep okay but the base is four bedrooms the base okay. model is four bedrooms so we have a bath here consider the three-quarter because it's not a tub but there is a stand-up shower sink Again, oh, the counter. A water room. A water room. A toilet, <laughs> a, a sink and vanity, and a beautiful shower. I do like that shower. Nice. I love the subway tile. Isn't in there. it beautiful? And it's got yes, the, it's um, very clean lined. It's got the cutout for the, you know, for your shampoo or whatever. Yeah. It's a great another great place that you know if you had a a mom or a dad or someone that needed to live with you, it yeah. kind of gives them even though it's not separated from the house. Yeah. At least they have their own bedroom bathroom that they can use yeah because you could put a tub in there oh yeah, yeah if you sure wanted you it could be yeah. a tub shower yeah. combo you could do a combo yeah. yeah for sure and then here we have on this side um, under stair Harry Potter, Potter, Potter closet <laughs> <laughs> and it goes all the way back here lots of room that's and a nice size one more down here so yeah. nice for storage or all your Disney bags, as Tonda then, likes yeah, to use it for. I have <laughs> lots of Disney stuff in there. Then we have a little landing spot here. Sorry about the beeping oh, for the garage. I like that. So when you come in from the garage right here. Oh, I just locked this out. You're, it's a little messy. Yeah. Your two-car garage is here. You would come in, drop your keys, your mail, whatever you want to drop, and it keeps the mess out of the kitchen. That's a great idea. So, is little, this a linen closet? This is, yes, and it's quite deep. You okay. Come on over. So it's got lots oh, of yeah. storage. Lots you of could, storage. You can walk all the way in here. Yep. Ta da! And use it for almost anything linen, yeah, lots storage, of here. extra pantry items, mm -hmm. extra toilet paper. You know, when you poured in the toilet paper. <laughs> and then there's another bedroom. And then here we have the bedroom. Another nice size. Oh, this yeah. This bedroom is, let me see what it says. It says this option is 12 by 11. So really not that much smaller than the two front bedrooms. Right. It's good size. 
Again, big furniture in here, so you know, you know, even if you put a smaller bed, smaller bedside tables, you're gonna have plenty of room. Mm -hmm. So, nice closet. Very nice. So, lots and lots of options in this one. All right, you ready to go upstairs? Are you all ready for this? This is pretty amazing. As, I love the stairway. As if the downstairs doesn't have enough. I right, let's go see it. There's more. Let's go see it. Head on up to the bonus. I Jeez. love the stairwell too. This it's rich so wood pretty. just looks. Love the wood. Love the, the railings. Of course, you know, that's all upgrades as well. Come in your models, you're gonna have, you know, the best of the best, but you can you can make it just as beautiful. Oh, I do like this. All of those extras. Look at this whole family room up here. It's amazing. Very large, great space. Could be, you know, you could turn it, want to put something over the windows, you could turn it into a theater room, you could use it as a playroom. Oh, and there's a bathroom back there here. There is too. a bathroom as well. It's just um a half, half bath. Yep, half bath. Tile is amazing. That is so pretty. I just love it. That is pretty. So a simple half bath up here. Closet here. More of the standard size. See that? That door yeah, is that more door of the standard is... size. The mm -hmm. height. It is. And then here we have, yes, another closet for more, more storage. storage. Nice. Which is amazing because houses never have enough storage as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Without having basements, having all the extra closets is a huge, huge help. Yes. And then... I love this room, the way they de decorated it. And look at those denim-like... Bean bags, or... Yeah. I don't know what you call them. I, well, I guess um, they call them... Those are too cute. They are adorable. Everything up here is, I mean, you know, they're all tastefully decorated. And then we have another space, which could be... You could use this. You could not even have this wall, probably. Correct. Yeah. And this just be one big huge this, room. The, all up here. of this is like an option. Yeah. This whole space up here is an option. The bonus room. Um, so you could. This could potentially be an adult child that has to live with you, or a teen that's off to college and you want them to have their private space. They have somewhere to set up a TV or game or, yeah. you know, hang out up here. They have a bedroom and a bathroom and really all they have to go downstairs for is the kitchen. Yep. So, have a bedroom off to the side here. Another nice big room. Oh, wow. This is a 14 by 12, so very, very big. It's beautiful. Really pretty. Love the corner windows, lots of light. Oh, look, you can see the playground from yeah, here, too. you can see the playground and another building. Some nice house finished. Oh, but no, this, we can't see this the neighborhood here. here is full, though. Yes, right? this one, they're finishing up construction. So there's just are, some brand new ones coming in back there. Yeah, but. they're finishing up that phase. And they are. that's why they're using these models for the pre-selling of Lakeside at Hamlin mm -hmm. until that those models can be built and then they'll... These homes, you know, will, will be owned as well. Yep. Actually, this one is already owned. It's sold, yep. By someone, and it, the, the builder is leasing it back until they don't need the model any longer, and then the owner will take possession. Ooh, Beautiful so bathroom. Nice option with the tub, tub I walls. Love this. Again, with the counter height mm -hmm. cat, um, vanity. So nice. Nice sink. Nothing's behind very here. Very wide. Very, Wait, very big bathroom. Is this a bathroom. closet right here? And this is... Another linen closet? Yeah, you can come this way. Okay. So you can see it instead of having the door open in your face. Another closet here. Nice. So plenty of storage. Plenty of options. This house Four is Four to beautiful. six bedrooms. Bonus room option. It's huge. It's amazing. Of course, the pool. Who wouldn't love that? Very nice. Rock on. Absolutely. Girl. I that house you. is so nice. <laughs> what did you all think? Make sure you all make a comment and let us know what you think about this. Or if you have any questions, you can also yep. leave that in the comments. Absolutely. You can also 
um, email email Robin directly. Yep, it's Robin at wartellahometeam.com. Wartella is W-A-R-T-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. We'll leave that link down yep. below. Be in, in the, the description. Yep. And uh, but I just thought this was so beautiful. It Six is amazing. bedrooms, thirty thirty many? almost thirty. We're gonna say thirty two hundred square feet. Thirty two hundred square 3, feet. Thirty one ninety nine. That pool. What was your favorite part of the whole house? Oh my gosh. Well, the pool's amazing. The pool for nice. sure. Yeah. But I just love. I don't know. I love the aesthetic of the whole thing. I love the openness. Options galore. Yeah. I mean, there's so many options as far as adding extra bedrooms. If you only need four, then great. You you know, you only yeah. go with four bedrooms. And if you really want more and more and more, you just keep adding and the price goes up accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> but the the possibilities are endless. endless. They Absolutely. are really endless. Yeah. Like whatever you I mean, if you're a crafter, you have a craft room. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a YouTuber, you have a YouTube yep. office. Just yep. you anything. work from home, you have somewhere to go. To yeah, the call kids your can office. have a yep. classroom at home yep. or whatever. Yep. So endless possibilities it is really really nice so my favorite part was that triple slider that just disappeared and it was like an indoor outdoor living area yeah. you know now, can course, you imagine that's an upgrade indoor outdoor you would want to screen in screen in yeah. cage as they call it yeah. here in florida you would want to cage in your pool yeah or even sure. if you because of bugs. Right. Even if you didn't have a pool and you just had the lanai and you wanted the option of having the indoor outdoor living, you would still want to screen in your lanai, yes. your patio. Yes. Because you, you, know, you don't want to leave your doors wide open yeah. and the bugs come in. Yeah. So. And you know, there's only certain times of the year that you can actually have the house wide open anyway. Yeah. So. So leave all your comments below, questions below. Yeah. Make sure you like this video, it's her very first one. I'm so excited and I hope you all enjoyed it. But Robin, I think we need this house. We need this house. We need this house. <laughs> Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.